this, and this is something that uh, I'm going to ask Mr. Michael Chain to come up and say a few words about it, but I also want to make sure that I say that I've never met a young man who has a stronger sense of self than Matt Douglas. He never, I've never seen anybody who's truer to himself than this young man, and I'm actually really proud of the fact that you have your dream job, which you worked hard for, which you earned, in the demographic that you wanted, in the place that you wanted, and that's not an accident. That's something that you did 100%. You've earned that right, and I'm looking forward to some great things, but... I'd like to have Mr. Michael Chang come up wow. and uh, introduce. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. A little shorter. <laughs> okay, so I wrote down a few notes for uh, Doug or Matt. Um, quick story. Uh, one of my favorite memories is or favorite things about working out with Matt is that. Um, in the weight room, we're told to pair up with like like species, which is quote unquote people with the same height, same weight. And so it's always an honor to work out with Dougie. Um, he's uh, probably one of the most common collected uh, people I know. Um, he has a natural gift for volleyball and his uh, really big heart. Um, he really helps us maintain stability and help on the fort uh, in terms of passing and defense. So uh, all around, a great person, great player. And without further ado, Matt Douglas. Well, first off, thank you to Coach Nygaard and Michael for those kind words. Um, really appreciate everything you guys have done for me. Long four years, quite the journey, a lot of ups and downs. Um, could not be more grateful to be standing on the stage right now. Michael, you kind of helped me maintain that sense of humor and get through practice on a daily basis. My little companion, my libero friend. <laughs> We've been through a lot together, so appreciate you in those kind words. Um, so one thing about what I wanted to say today, at first it was kind of me, 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 kind of what I had gone, learned, accomplished throughout the years. Um, but I realized it wasn't really about that at all. It was really about the people that have helped me get here. Um, first off, just my parents. You guys have been so supportive. these four years, I mean the past 22 years, um, in terms of life, everything, volleyball, dedicating so much time, sacrificing so much resources and energy, and countless hours at ASC, and just so many things to, that come to mind, I can't even really put words to it, so thank you guys for really everything. Um, my grandparents as well, thank you guys for the support. And, your dedication, spending so much time when you could be doing everything else, traveling the world, you decide to sit in the gym and shoot me on, whether that be at JOs, tournaments, and convention centers, or all the way to, you know, Long Beach. Um, really appreciate that as well. You guys have taught me so much throughout the years, and so many life lessons, and I can't be more grateful for what you guys have done for me. Thank you again. I just want to share a quick story. You know, it, I'd be lying if I said this was smooth sailing and these four years have gone by, everything the way I planned, and, um, but it really hasn't. And I think it's through this adversity and obstacles that you really learn a lot about yourself and others, um, a lot of introspection, and I couldn't be more grateful for that looking back on it. Um, I'd say a big inflection point in my college career in these four years was this fall. When it was probably the closest time I ever came to not being up here right now and calling to quit. And I could not be more grateful that I didn't, but I was at a point I probably was having a little too much fun, spending a little too much time off the volleyball court, and thankful that he pulled me aside and told me, you know, you need to shape up. I'm going to remove you from the team for the time being. Um, and I think I needed that. That was a wake-up call. I, sh I, looking back on it, really did need and very much appreciative for it. So I went back, told my parents, I was still a little in disbelief at what happened, like how much I had done for the program, you know, and they're treating me like this, whatever, but it was really a good turning point for me. I went back and talked to my parents, um, kind of let them know what was happening, broke down for the first time. I'm not very emotional, at least, if you can't tell, I don't show a lot of energy on the court necessarily. I try to be, you know, a calming presence out there. Uh, but I broke down, and that really made me realize, you know, how much this meant to me, how much I was taking this opportunity for granted, how much I was kind of letting down the guys in this room, especially. 
Um, and yeah, so I wanted to talk to our, I wish our team psych, uh, psychologist, Dylan, Dylan Fursick, was here right now, but I had a kind of two hour venting session with him. <laughs> kind of telling him my whole experience, my stories, sharing, kind of touching base with him. Um, and just looking back on that moment, kind of breaking down, second guessing myself, wondering if I even had a place on this team anymore. And what, six months from now, standing up here. Um, just crazy turn of events, and that was such an inflection point, kind of these four years. And again, couldn't be more grateful for that and all that's transpired since then. Um, yeah, then. Yeah. And then lastly, just a couple things I guess I've learned throughout the years that I've loved in part, especially on some of the younger guys, and that I'm just appreciative for this program and guys like Jeff that have taught me. Um, you know, I think being at SC, we're at such an epicenter of money and people putting on facades and trying to please this person and that. And I just think humility and being genuine is very important and carries you a long way. Um, I think a lot of us have a lot going for us. So be student athlete and, you know, we're well educated and a lot going in the future and in that sense. Um, but I think just being humble and being your true self is very important. I think the best relationships I've made throughout these four years were not putting on this facade or trying to please someone else or being someone I'm not, because you really do get caught up in that, especially if you're here at SC, whether that be through classes or fraternities or social events or whatnot. Um, and I'm so grateful for the guys in this room that have kind of accepted that and understood me at my core and kind of what I believe in. Or Jeff likes to say I have a strong sense of self, but I'm just appreciative that you guys have kind of accepted me for that. And, my shortcomings, with all that being said. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's crazy how fast the time flies. I know I've talked to a lot of the younger guys about it. Just the fact that uh, being up here was in your guys' shoes so long ago, and blink of an eye, it's all over. But, you know, I wouldn't trade these four years for the world. Um, had such an amazing experience. Volleyball really teaches you so much, and it's not just on the court or performing the wins and the losses. Um, it's just, it's so much more, it's those 6 a.m. workouts you don't want to be up for, it's grinding, and staying up all night doing schoolwork, but probably should have done that a few more times. Um, but yeah, it's just the lesson you learn, it's daily workouts with Chang and Curtis, and doing things against Manuel, um, but I could not be more grateful for this experience, this opportunity I've had, for the coaches for believing in me all the staff that we've gone through so much with each other, Moss and Resnick and Gian. So many times I doubted myself and second-guessed, is this really all worth it? You know, and I cannot be more thankful that I stuck with it, because there are plenty of times I almost call it quits, and you know, thought the greener pastures out there, but it really wasn't. I'm just kind of getting that glass jersey, I think, <clears throat> really solidified. And my mom always joked that if I could just stick it out till I got that jersey in the photo case, it would make it all worthwhile. And just kind of seeing her reaction when that day finally came, um, couldn't have been more proud, and I'm so thankful for that and all she's done for me. Um, otherwise, yeah, just en enjoy the moment. I like to tell the guys it goes by quick, be present. Um, you know, don't burn bridges with anyone. You never know when a relationship will affect you at some point in your life. Be nice to people. I know a lot of people like to only befriend people, let us see if they add value to them or if they think they'll help me achieve some sort of means to an end. But I just try to treat everyone with respect and kindness and I think that takes you far in life and I hope um, that will continue to help me out in the future. But forever proud to be a Trojan and part of this program. And again, just thank you to everyone in this room for helping me out on this journey.